Uh, hey guys, uh, this is a different video, but I kind of wanted to make this to thank the developers back at the Vainglory HQ. Uh, not only did they listen to my <laughs> endless amount of complaints about bugs and solo queue matchmaking, but they also listened to other issues as well concerning other people. Uh, now my claim is that uh, Vainglory will rise to be one of the most known MOBAs out there, and there's some evidence that uh, I think is pretty pretty good. <laughs> Vainglory is a one-of-a-kind MOBA, perfected for mobile devices, um, not mobile legends. Looking at Android results of how many people downloaded Vainglory, it's extremely safe to say over 5 million people have downloaded the game, because, you know, I looked at... Um, the Play Store, and then s saw how many people downloaded the game, and obviously there's a lot more for iOS. Uh, you know, maybe some people got bored of it and deleted it, who knows, but you know, it's just common sense. But one thing's for sure, YouTubers and streamers are making Vainglory known, as well as public sharing. If you look at the subscriber count for YouTubers such as like Scoundrel or Rumbly Superset, you can see that they're all growing. Like at a pretty fast pace. They're spreading their audience, and you guys need to spread out Vainglory to other people and recommend the game to them. But the audience for Vainglory is, like, growing. <laughs> the main point I wanted to get to was the developers, and as I said before, they listen to us, the audience. Not many developers I have ever heard of has done that. They listen to suggestions, and as you can see in their video of their Midsummer Progress, it told you just that. They want to get their audience involved. They're interactive. If you complain, they'll listen. It's one of the rare relationships you'll be able to find between developer and supporter. We enjoy being listened to. It's one of our social cues. So psychologically, I think Vainglory is going to grow and become big. Even it's already big, but bigger. <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of Vainglory's biggest strengths is that it's a one-of-a-kind game. There's never been an app just like it, with its design, gameplay, and its ability to function. And most importantly, its accessibility. Most desktop MOBAs are not really mobile. You obviously have to have a computer everywhere you go to play it. And not to mention, the matches can last up to an hour. With Vainglory, you can download it easily on your phone and play anywhere without uh, the cost of much data. Like, it only takes 10 megs. The matches, as you all know, last only about 20 to 30 minutes, so it's certainly much more mobile and accessible than League of Legends or Dota or Smite. And it certainly beats other ripoffs. <clears throat> mobile Legends. Okay, if you look at Vainglory's growth in just two years, they were able to create world-class tournaments. That's an amazing feat for a mobile game, like on a phone. Much less a mobile MOBA game. SEMC's projects are getting more ambitious, and that's really good to see. But the question is, why would they be working this hard on new and amazing updates if there wasn't going to be a growing audience? You have to think about that. Vainglory is growing and not falling, just so people can know. That's just my opinion, but, you know, some people might not think so. But thank you for watching this different kind of video, and uh, yeah. Subscribe.